Real estate investing has long been a popular choice for investors looking to build wealth and create passive income. But as with any investment, there are pros and cons to consider. Hello everyone welcome to Makaya Wealth Building Channel. In this video, we will explore the advantages and disadvantages of real estate investing, and provide some tips for getting started. Without further ado let's dive right into the video. Real Estate Invest Pros 1. Potential for Long-Term Appreciation One of the biggest advantages of investing in real estate is the potential for long-term appreciation. Historically, real estate values have tended to increase over time, which can lead to significant profits for investors who buy and hold properties for many years. 2. Cash flow through rental income Another advantage of real estate investing is the potential for cash flow through rental income. When you own a rental property, you can collect rent from tenants each month, which can provide a steady stream of income. 3. Tax Benefits Real estate investing also offers a number of tax benefits, including deductions for mortgage interest, property taxes, and repairs and maintenance. Additionally, if you hold onto a property for more than a year before selling it, you'll qualify for long-term capital gains tax rates, which are typically lower than short-term rates. 4. Diversification investing in real estate can also help you diversify your investment portfolio. Real estate values don't always move in the same direction as the stock market, so owning real estate can help protect you from market volatility. Real Estate Invest Cons 1. High Upfront Costs One of the biggest disadvantages of real estate investing is the high upfront costs. Buying a property typically requires a significant down payment, and you'll also need to pay for closing costs, inspections, and other fees. Additionally, if you're buying a rental property, you may need to make repairs or renovations before you can start renting it out. 2. Property management Owning a rental property also requires ongoing property management, which can be time-consuming and expensive. You'll need to find tenants, collect rent, handle maintenance and repairs, and deal with any tenant issues that arise. 3. Market fluctuations Real estate values can also be subject to market fluctuations, which can impact your investment returns. If you buy a property during a boom and then the market crashes, you may be left with a property that's worth less than what you paid for it. 4. Illiquid investment Finally, real estate is an illiquid investment, which means it can be difficult to sell quickly if you need to free up cash. Unlike stocks or bonds, which can be sold with just a few clicks, selling a property can take weeks or even months. The following are some of the tips to get started in real estate investment. 1. Start small if you're new to real estate investing, it's a good idea to start small. Consider investing in a single-family home or a small multi-unit property, rather than jumping into a large commercial property right away. 2. Research the market before you invest in any property, it's important to research the local real estate market. Look at trends in property values, rental rates, and vacancy rates to get a sense of the market conditions in the area. Three. Crunch the numbers when evaluating a potential investment property. It's important to crunch the numbers to make sure the investment makes financial sense. Consider factors like the property's rental income, expenses, and potential for appreciation to determine whether it's a good investment. 4. Consider property management If you're investing in a rental property, consider hiring a property management company to handle the day-to-day -day operations. While this will add to your expenses, it can also free up your time and help ensure your investment is well managed. 5. Be prepared for unexpected expenses when investing in real estate. Properties require ongoing maintenance and repairs, and tenants can sometimes cause damage that needs to be repaired. As a real estate investor, it's important to have a reserve fund set aside to cover these unexpected expenses. This can help prevent you from having to dip into your personal funds or take out additional loans to cover these costs. Additionally, it's a good idea to have insurance in place to protect your investment property from unexpected events like fires, floods, or other disasters. Hey, friends if you are enjoying this video consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. If you're considering getting started with real estate investing, there are a few tips to keep in mind. First, it's a good idea to start small. Consider investing in a single-family home or a small multi-unit property, rather than jumping into a large commercial property right away. 
This can help you get a feel for the real estate market and build your experience as an investor. Before you invest in any property, it's important to research the local real estate market. Look at trends in property values, rental rates, and vacancy rates to get a sense of the market conditions in the area. Additionally, when evaluating a potential investment property, it's important to crunch the numbers to make sure the investment makes financial sense. Consider factors like the property's rental income, expenses, and potential for appreciation to determine whether it's a good investment. If you're investing in a rental property, consider hiring a property management company to handle the day-to-day -day operations. While this will add to your expenses, it can also free up your time and help ensure your investment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.